G'day guys, Kieran French here back with another 4 wheel drive Fridays video. Today, just been trying to figure out some items that I can try and do for Flick U and uh, something came up in my news feed about uh, bonnet struts. Um, as you can see, or most people that have GQs, these bonnets are super heavy and I'm sick of every time I try and pull the bonnet up. This little pissy ass thing here, I guess the factory holder, uh, just lets go. It's uh, broken and I need to replace it. So I'm just sick of it. So I found some struts, uh, found some ideas that might help me out to uh, put these struts on either side of the bonnet. Uh, I think there's some cutting on this side because I put a dual battery system in. And yeah, so I'm just gonna make some brackets up. Uh, these should be pretty strong. They are super hard to push in. And uh, hopefully, my bonnet stays up without that. So yeah, I just found two ways that they'd mount them on. Uh, a bracket here, and then obviously a bracket up here on the bonnet itself, which should give it enough leverage to push the bonnet up. Um, there was one on eBay I saw that was about $90, which was a single strut, which I feel over time would just push this bonnet across and uh, make my bonnet unsquare because it said it was a heavy duty shock, I guess. That's all it is, it's just a shock and this thing's so tight. So they're coming over this side for my dual battery setup, so I just bashed and cut to make the battery fit. Um, I'm going to do some cutting, cleaning this up, bringing it all the way down here. Probably going to cut this or at least bash this down. So when the arm comes down, it's not hitting up hard against that. So yeah, we're going to get stuck into cutting the brackets. Because, uh, well, there's nothing else really to do. So this is probably a little DIY you could probably do at home. All you need is some gas struts. You'll need, obviously, four of the... Four of these, if I can get them out. Four of these, I don't know if you can see them, obviously to pop into the side of the gas strut and I guess a, a bracket systems. So not that hard, pretty simple. Um, the other things you probably might need will be a drill, some pop nuts and some maybe some pop rivets. But um, in this video we'll, we'll dive into how to make the brackets, how to mount it, where to mount it and um, so then you guys can do it at home. Because, well, yeah, we're still in lockdown in Melbourne and, I, and there's not much else I can really do. So, yeah, you'll need two of these, two L brackets. Uh, obviously, find out where your center is and then two points on either side so that plus some pop rivets can go into your bonnet which will be your bonnet part and obviously one of these to go into the side of your body.
One side on, all clipped up. Other side is on, all clipped up. Uh, we have marked the bonnet. Uh, look like we're just probably going off this hole. I don't know how far that is. We're just sort of guesstimating at the moment, just so it has some pressure. So when this is fully extended up, it has a little bit of pressure still on it instead of it being sort of slack. Um, not only bad, I wouldn't say it's bad, but thing at the moment we might think may happen is this, is when it comes down, as you can see, it's tapping on this. We're hoping that when this pushes in, it's uh, back here a bit further. Yeah, on its shot, what up? Brackets are all made up, drilled some two holes. Um, I think we might just tech screw it in first, just to see where it lands in here. We should get away with this side, but if you come to the other side, like I said before, about this charcoal canister, about the arm hitting, I think the bracket, when it comes down, might hit that. There you go, I finally finished. Uh, bonnet struts are on, and as you can see, I closed the bonnet with this guy on. Um, definitely an easy thing to do, uh, best thing to do, because these bonnets, like I said, they are super heavy. Um, so yeah, that's me. Done and dusted for another video of uh, DIY bullshit. Things you can do around the house uh, while in lockdown to your car or whatever in between. Yeah, so till next time guys, always remember to be safe, try and have some activities and I'll see you around. Do you like that? Is that better? Better, better position? So this is uh, Rex, uh, he is my new friend, a bearded dragon and yeah, you might see him uh, a lot more than usual. As you can see, he's pretty friendly. Pretty chilled out. Um, he just helped me close the bonnet on my car. So, yeah. <laughs>